iPhone 6, iOS 11 Beta 1 review. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So, what is up, guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology, and welcome to the iPhone 6 iOS 11 Beta 1 review. So, first of all, I'm not on iOS 11 just yet. If I go into settings here, you can see that I will have a update available but first I want to show you that we are on 10.3.2 14f89 with 4.41 gigabytes available if I go into software update you can see iOS 11 developer beta is available but first thing I want to do is go ahead and run a speed test on these applications so we can see the differences when we do get into iOS 11 so you can see everything is closed out on the iPhone 6 let's begin the speed test in three two let's go you can see settings is ready to go let's go in the phone and you can see phone is ready to go. Let's go into weather. Weather is ready to go. Let's go into camera. Ready to go. Let's go into YouTube now. And you should see YouTube is open. Let's go into Twitter. Twitter should be opening any second now. And here it comes. There's Twitter. Let's go into eBay. You can see eBay is ready to go. Let's go into Instagram. And you can see Instagram is ready. Let's go into App Store. And... App Store is ready to go in just a second here. Let's go into Dead Trigger. Let Dead Trigger open up here. Let's see if I got the volume down. So we're gonna hit OK on that annoying pop-up. So we're gonna have to give it an, another second on the final score. So Dead Trigger is ready to go. Let's go into Temple Run. And you can see Temple Run is just about done here on iOS 10, ready to go. So I'm gonna give it right around 50 seconds. There's a few seconds I'm gonna shave off just due to human error and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and update to iOS 11 now. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit settings here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit download and install. And then you gotta agree to the terms and conditions here and then it will give you an update requested for the download here on your iOS 11 for iPhone 6. Coming in right around at 1.89 gigabytes, by the way. All right, guys, so you can now see that we are in iOS 11 now. It's gonna say press home to finish setting this up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and I will show you around the operating system real quickly. All right, guys, so we are now in iOS 11 for the Apple iPhone 6 here. So you can tell by going into the calculator, you can see this is much different. Mainly the control center will be a dead giveaway here. But this is the first install, and you can see right away it does look pretty smooth in terms of just the home screens, but definitely buggy in some other areas, like the lock screen, for example. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go ahead and talk about all the features. If you want to see more about the features, just go watch my iOS 11 Beta 1 review where I talk more about the features. But one nice thing that they did include was the ability to tweak the control center quite a bit here in iOS 11. So you go into settings on the Apple iPhone 6 and then we go into control center down here. Let's find it really quickly. Control center. You can see you can now add things like low power mode to the control center or you can also add screen recording which is pretty cool. Notes and you can really just get this thing packed with features that you would like to have here on your iPhone 6. So it's a really nice inclusion of all these things you can add to the control center, make it in a very in-depth control center, more similar to what we had on Android. All right guys, so let's go ahead and check the storage and see if we gained anything here on iOS 11 for the iPhone 6. You can see iOS 11 software is up to date here for the iPhone 6. We're gonna go into about and you can see right here, 3.52 gigabytes so we actually lost plenty of space here on this download so just keep that in mind if you are going to update your iphone 6 to ios 11 you are going to lose some space here on this update all right guys so we got about 50 seconds give or take on 10.3.2 when we ran the speed test let's go ahead and close everything out here and you can see the new task switcher right here a little bit laggy but definitely more updated here so i'm going to run this test one more time to see if ios 11 improves in speed let's hit start in three to one settings. Let's come home here. Let's go into phone. Let's come home here. Let's go into weather. Let's come home here. Let's go into camera. Let's come home here. Let's go into YouTube. So it's looking pretty promising so far, but what about these third party applications? YouTube is done. Let's go into Twitter. And you see the new animation on every app opening right here. Twitter should be done shortly there. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay. Come on, eBay. Come on, eBay. And you can see Instagram. I did come out a little bit, so I'm going to give it an extra second on the end here. And uh, let's go into App Store. And you can see App Store ready to go there for the iPhone 6. Dead trigger. 
Dead Trigger needs to be updated. So Dead Trigger does not work with the OS. Temple Run, Temple Run also. There goes Temple Run, so you can see. But you can see over here, even with that mishap that I had on eBay, we're getting about the same speeds here on iOS 11 that I was getting on 10.3.2. So it definitely feels a little bit more choppier in day-to-day -day use here on the iPhone 6 with iOS 11, but definitely not too much different in speed from 10.3.2 here on the iPhone 6. Even with that mishap I had in eBay, it's still around the same time. So iOS 11 does bring a few new things to your Apple iPhone 6. Like I said, I'm not going to go too much over this. I went over this a few times already in other Beta 1 reviews, but you do get the new App Store here with the updated today view. You also get the games view. It's just a much easier to see view here for your iPhone 6 if you did want to go ahead and get this. Now, also you do have a little bit of a change here in the calculator. I talked about this earlier. It is a little bit different. We do see a new modern look and feel here. On the calendar, bold type font faces throughout the UI. You're going to see it here on the months, and you're going to see that theming going across the board here. Now, in terms of this phone, you also get files here. So you finally have files here on your iPhone 6. It's a little bit laggy. Sometimes it's not showing the file systems here. It takes a second to pull them up. And I don't know if we're going to have time to see them here in this video. You can see there they go finally. So they're definitely not ready for prime time just yet here on the iPhone 6. Reachability is retained here. But other than that, I'm not seeing too much issues here on iPhone 6 for iOS 11. This is kind of surprising because I did see more issues on the 6S Plus than on this phone right here. Also, you do get some updates in the music application where you can now share music with your friends straight from your Apple Music curated playlist and things like that. You can share them straight to your friends, just like we would back in the day. We would give somebody a phone call and be like, let me let me share with you some awesome music right here. You can see the iTunes Store app is also updated here. So definitely some changes here. Now, if you go into settings for your iPhone 6, you're not going to see huge differences in the wallpaper department. So I know a lot of people don't think this is a big deal, but to me, I kind of liked when Apple used to put a lot of nice wallpapers in their smartphone. You're only going to get this one new still right here for the first edition of iOS 11. Now, if I go ahead and hit the home button here for Siri, you can see, hello, hello, hello. You can see that new icon there for Siri. So it crashed. So see, Siri's not even ready for prime time yet, but there is a new icon for Siri. And other than that, I'm not going to go too much further. The lock screen on iOS 11 retains your widgets to the left. It's kind of like the same as the notification tray. If you swipe up, you can see older notifications. Going to the right, you do have the camera if it would work. And there it goes. The camera looks about the same. And overall, this is looking pretty okay here for iPhone 6. Still too buggy, I think, for release on iPhone 6 for you guys to go ahead and download this. But definitely it's pretty cool to try out if you just want to revert back to iOS 10. Anyway, that's my review of iOS 11 Beta 1 here for the Apple iPhone 6. It looks pretty modern. It makes your iPhone 6 look a little bit more up-to-date, a little bit more fresh and new. But anyway, that's going to wrap this video up for me. If you guys enjoyed it, click the like button for me. Let me know what you'd like to see down below in the comments section. We got a big face-off of iOS 11 coming this weekend, so you might want to say subscribe for that. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.